Again, we, uh, we have a very strong application expertise in our company. Uh, we have about 100 folks in the, uh, in the company, uh, 40 in Los Gatos, uh, 20 in Asia, 15 in Shenzhen, and five in Taipei that are just focused on providing uh, reference uh, designs, and in some cases, the actual designs uh, of the power supply. So even as a, you say you're a silicon supplier, why are you doing power supply designs? It's because our customers really require our help in being able to implement them. And in the background, uh, we continue to innovate and think about new, uh, new requirements and new technologies uh, that will be required as a result of spending time uh, with our customers. Our customers don't really know uh, what they need and how to innovate. Uh, we have to bring them, bring them along. <clears throat> so the iVOD advantage is really um, just beginning. Uh, today, we focused uh, specifically on AC to DC conversion. Uh, with our technology, a very advanced uh, adaptive digital control technology. Uh, we have uh, some advanced IP and DC to DC conversion as well. We will start developing uh, that technology. Um, so we'll have a complete solution from power grid to a point of load. So thinking about the power problem from the grid to the point of load, rather than just the AC to DC conversion problem or the DC to DC conversion problem. We believe that will provide us with a much higher level of integration and a much more efficient solution uh, for the load, which is really what you're trying to accomplish. So let me uh, show you what, uh, what currently exists in the market. Uh, today, about 40% uh, of the cell phones uh, use what's called an RCC, a ring choke converter uh, technology. And there's no IC uh, in this uh, adapter. Uh, pretty cheap, uh, but the efficiency and manufacturability uh, is not very good. So over the next year, uh, through the uh, mandates from the energy uh, commissions around the world, uh, these, uh, these devices no, will no longer be uh, viable. And then there's the uh, traditional switch mode uh, power supply, which is getting a lot of traction today. Um, there is a, uh, an IC here. Uh, this uses an opto coupler to give the feedback back to the, uh, to the controller from the, uh, from the secondary side. What uh, IWAT brings to the party is the ability to eliminate uh, several components, <coughs> mainly optocoupler. Uh, with our adaptive digital control technology, we actually put a pulse through the transformer and look at the reflective wave, digitize that waveform, and we can very accurately determine the voltage and current uh, of the power supply. That's important because we, cannot, we don't only have the capability of controlling the power supply, but we can also integrate all of the protection features for the power supply. So rather than in the traditional analog mode where you're waiting for a full cycle to happen, we're constantly looking at what's happening with, with the power supply and the health of the power supply. So our protection features are much more robust. Um, so we eliminate all that secondary uh, current sensing. Uh, that current sensing is for protection and getting the power supply more accurate. Uh, loop compensation goes away for the, uh, for the primary side. Um, and as I said, we have uh, built-in protection, so it's pretty obvious to see uh, our cost advantage uh, in the elimination of uh, several, several components. Uh, so um, the other value, uh, the other capability that we have and uh, one that's being utilized in the reference designs today for uh, a green plug is a single stage PFC. Uh, this is a traditional uh, multi-stage uh, AC to DC converter. Uh, power factor correction with the big bolt cap is used to, uh, is to condition uh, the power supply so that the switch mode power supply, the PWM controller, does not distort the AC line. That's power factor correction, which is I talked about before. Um, and traditional power supply controllers use secondary side feedback uh, with the optocoupler. With the IWAT solution, uh, we eliminate that PFC controller, the very large, expensive, and low reliability um, bulk, bulk capacitor, uh, a second switch, all the secondary side components, uh, and the optocoupler. Again, the opto is probably the least reliable component in a power supply today. Uh, so fewer components, higher efficiency, uh, reduced size, and lower cost. Uh, so if you took a, uh, a non-PFC notebook charger and had a relative size as shown here, 
um, and then compared that to a conventional two-stage uh, PFC. So notebook uh, computers today that are 75 watts and above require PFC. So you'd get a bigger brick if you were an engineer, for example, that wanted a big screen and lots of power. You've got to carry the big brick around like Gus does. Uh, if you're, a nerd, uh, you're not a nerd <laughs> or a CEO, you can carry around a smaller brick, uh, which is the non-PFC. But what IWAT has uh, accomplished is the ability to, uh, with our single stage PFC, is to integrate and reduce the overall size of that whole solution. So we can both carry smaller uh, bricks around on our trips to, uh, to Asia. So 25% smaller, 30% fewer bomb uh, components, 20% lower bomb cost, and 90% efficiency. Okay. I'm going to go back to power factor correction and why, uh, why I think it's really important that we start using power factor correction for low power devices, right? It's mandated at 75 watts and above. It's not mandated below that. So this is the, uh, the result of a traditional linear power supply, right? You put, a, uh, you put 1,000 watts in and you only get 450 watts out because of the efficiency loss in that linear power supply, okay? And the linear power supply is taking power from the, from the grid on a regulated basis, uh, and the grid is just happy. It's not distorting it, just, just very happy. Now, along comes a uh, switch mode power supply. Uh, switch mode power supplies, as you can see, have much better conversion efficiency than a linear power supply. Linear power supply conversion efficiency is about 45%. We can get up to 90% with a switch mode power supply. The problem is, is when you put that switch mode power supply on the grid, it distorts the grid and requires an additional 50% uh, power uh, to uh, convert out. So again, you're only getting 45% uh, useful uh, power as a result of this. Uh, with the iWatt solution and you, uh, or, or any conditioning from a PFC perspective, uh, you can get up to 99% efficiency through the power factor correction and 90% efficiency through the conversion. So the overall efficiency of the system is now 89%. Now the big problem is, is who wants to pay for that? Uh, with our, with our single, uh, single stage PFC, we think that comes pretty much for free or maybe a little bit of extra cash. So here's the uh, uh, simplified version, I guess, of, <laughs> of Gus's uh, uh, a diagram um, where IWAT and Greenplug uh, come together. Um, so our uh, AC, to, AC to DC power conversion using a single stage PFC, uh, Green Talk protocol, uh, and the uh, DC to DC uh, power. Um, so the key here is that uh, only one of the devices potentially needs power factor correction as mandated, the, uh, the notebook PC. You get power factor correction for free for the other three devices. And if you remember the slide I showed earlier, the next big bar that we can save from a power efficiency perspective is putting power factor correction on the low power devices. So with the green plug initiative, you get it for free. Um, so there is a significant uh, efficiency improvement enabling uh, green plug with uh, three to four um, different devices. 